Design of Instrumentation Amplifier. We want to discuss why this is the architecture and what is the differential gain V out divided by V2 minus V1 and what is the common mode gain. Well, we are interested in uh, the difference amplification of uh, the input voltages V2 and V1. So the uh, straightforward manner using one off amp would be just uh, a standard uh, one off amp uh, difference amplifier or differential amplifier like this. Um, so it can be done this way, but there are problems, um, including the fact that now uh, we are directly connecting V1 and V2 to these resistors, and V1 and V2 could be two voltage sources coming from two sensitive sensors that are not able to provide current to the circuit. Um, so they are not buffered. Uh, we are interested to either impedance match with input voltages V1 and V2 or having them buffered so that they just deal with very large impedances so that they don't need to provide any current to the difference amplifier or differential amplifier. So uh, the easiest way would be buffering these guys using another set of op amps like this, V1 and then that one. And the same thing for V2. This way, uh, the input impedance that they are observing, that each, each of these voltages observing, is infinite. Um, and then they can drive the actual differential amplifier. The only problem is now we are only limited to the gain that is provided by this circuit, which is minus R2 over R1 or R3, uh, minus R3 over R2. Um, so to provide additional gain capability, we can uh, add resistors this way. So we can shunt the amount of feedback in these buffers, some of them to the ground, uh, so that we add uh, gain. But the thing is, if we do it this way, then we have to deal with the mismatches of two sets of resistors. In real life, we would like to have a completely symmetric circuit so that both V1 and V2 observe the same thing. So we have to match these two resistors and these two resistors to, redu to reduce the amount of matching requirement. Um, and effectively, the one that is shown here is like this. So rather than having two resistors here, we can um, disconnect it from the ground and we can only we can just insert one resistor. Uh, effectively, we can show this design with one resistor this way. Um, so now you know the story behind this architecture and we can have a potential meter or a variable resistor here so that by changing the value, we can change the gain of the whole circuit.